Hi everyone! Happy New Year! Um, by the time this video is uploaded, it should be sometime like in the middle or the end of January. But this video is being filmed at the beginning of January, so Happy New Year! Um, it's a new year, new video, new content. Um, for the year of 2024, I will be focusing a lot more on like the whole university series as well as like more fashion, more travel content, more like daily vlogs. I've been trying to get into that a little bit more. So um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, but today's video um, is going to be a summary of all the really cool items that I got on Taobao from like the last one year that I thought like I should really share with everyone just because I thought they were really good and even if you guys don't get the exact same items, I think that the general category of items is worth searching for in Taobao. So without further ado, these are my Taobao must-haves for the year 2024. Also, fit check before we get started. This dress is from, I think, Kissabella um, or Dressabelle. It's one of the block shops from Singapore. It's like really pretty. Um, I bought it secondhand on Refresh, and you can use my code SHUNINGXREFRESH for 25% off all purchases online. So don't don't wait. Get your clothes on Refresh. They've got wonderful curations and selections online. Let's start it off with something that I'm currently wearing. I've got these cute little earrings uh, and guess what? I actually don't have piercings but Taobao just has these like super cute um, ear clips. They call them erjia in Chinese and I just find that for all the people that I know who don't pierce their ears, this is such a great convenient option but they just, I don't know, it's just really expensive here in Singapore and I don't know if it's just me. So I'll be going through a couple of pieces that I got on Taobao just to showcase like what you can potentially get on there. But basically they just have all of these ear clips um, and you can see uh, they work like this so you can just unclip it and clip it onto your ear. It barely hurts, honestly speaking. I have these in gold um, and they're really, really pretty. And they have a whole variety on Taobao. And each pair, I think it costs up to like a dollar or something. Uh, and if you get really lucky, you are able to find like last season's items from stores like, or brands like Lovisa, um, from all the different like Primark. You actually get to buy their last season's items at like heavily discounted prices. So these were a couple of pearl earrings. These were from Lovisa. These were also like a dollar something, which was, I mean, it's amazing. You can also get like hoops like these. Um, very pretty. I've kind of like hooked them up together, but you can actually see they're really nice. Um, and then you can, and then you can like turn the screw to tighten it or loosen it for your ear. And they're so cute. I buy a whole variety of them. I have them. Um, I have it in like multiple designs, colors, and Taobao is just the place to find this variety at this price. With that being said, you can also find a couple of dupes for popular jewelry on Taobao. I have this, which is very similar to the Tiffany hardware necklace. It is obviously a dupe. You can see from the chain. Um, very cheap looking, but this bit of the necklace, it's gorgeous on um, the hardware, it's so pretty. It was just a really like cheap and fun way to accessorize or find things that I really liked um, at a heavy fraction of the price. And because I don't wear my jewelry on a daily basis, I like to like mix and match, switch it out. So and a really expensive purchase on like one item was not really worth it for me so I decided to get this and this was also like I think a dollar something next up we have beauty products now for beauty products I really only have one product to recommend but I think C Beauty has been up and coming uh, notably brands like Flower Nose um, Jeline, Little Undyne, I think these are all like up and coming brands to watch out for and I think I will be trying more C Beauty brands in the year 2004 2024 but the one that I have to recommend to you today is this one it's from Jeline um, it's so pretty hello are we looking at that very compact eyeshadow palette literally the size of my palm and you get a whole bunch of colors I think you get 12 or 13 shades in here and they swatch beautifully you can see it's such a nice little like neutrals palette and these colors they're very soft eyeshadows um, I'm gonna swatch something that I think it's easier to see. 
like you can see the glitters oh there we go this is just such a nice eyeshadow palette i personally love it so much um, it's so easy for travel you can carry it anywhere with you the pigment is great and right now let me just let me just oh look at that look at that look at that glow i love this one i love this palette so much i think this was like five to seven dollars on taobao i got it off shopee but you can find the exact same brand on taobao so i really should have bought it on taobao just you know because it was just because it was cheaper but yeah beautiful um check out c beauty in 2024 and of course on the topic of beauty i have discovered that taobao is also the it place to buy makeup brushes and makeup tools now everything is just so affordable on taobao i managed to find a store that sold like dupes if not i guess like extras or like dead stock of makeup brushes so these are just two of the brushes that i got but i thought that i would share a little bit about it so this one says pat mcgrath it probably isn't actually pat mcgrath but it's just such a nice compact um brush you can see it's good for like cream blush, foundation, concealer, bronzer. This is just the perfect size for everything. Fits right into my hand. It's really just the perfect size to bring around everywhere with me. And this was only about, I think, a dollar. And I mean, whether or not it's even from Pat McGrath, irrelevant. I think this was just like a great size and it's really, really well made as well. This brush on the other hand is from Clio. Um, I, like I said, I don't know if this was from Clio's manufacturer or anything, but it's basically like a it's basically a less dense brush. Um, you could use this for blush, you could use this for powder. Um, essentially just a really nice face powder brush. Uh, also about a dollar, the stippling is really nice, feels really nice on the face, great size as well, very well made, and this was also like a dollar something. So great options and and i also got a little pack of face sponges i think this bit gets perfectly under the eyes and then you can have like the bigger surface area for like your face it's just so good to blend out um concealer it's so good to blend out powder it's so good to blend out your foundation and it's so small that you can bring it anywhere with you you don't even have to worry um and i got like an entire pack of like 10 i think for like a dollar something so really affordable and personally i think great option i'll leave all the links in the description below but you should definitely get your makeup tools from taobao i actually managed to find a couple of tops with like specific brands so this one says cotton on um on it oh does it i don't know if it says cotton on on it yeah so these say cotton on on it with the size and everything I don't actually know if they're from Cotton On, but they feel so good. They feel almost exactly like the Cotton On tops that I see in retail stores. They have like the same ribbed um, fabric, the same soft inner lining, and like uh, the same cut, the same color. So I wouldn't know, but these, oh my god, I, I literally haven't shopped retail in such a long time. I have the halter tops, the supposed cotton on halter tops in a light orange and a light white. I have this super cute um, Thai top. It's like ruched, you've got the whole like flare. And for my favorite, I have this one. Is this from Zara? I don't know if it's made from Zara. Like I said, I will not claim authenticity on any of the products that I find, but I do find that regardless of the Regardless of whether or not it is actually authentic, the material is just really good. This is a Zara crop top. It's in this bright red. Material is really good. Um, straps, the cups and everything. Yeah, I just love um, all the tops that I get on Taobao. I tend to have a higher success rate with tops as compared to like dresses or bottoms because I find that sometimes dresses just don't fit you right. Um, bottoms also, they don't necessarily fit your hips if they fit your waist. Every single one of these tops was under $5, which is really, really affordable for crop tops, I feel. So um, something to keep in mind, uh, get your tops from Taobao. They're beautiful. They've got huge varieties. Usually I'll just like, use reverse image searches and look for tops and crop tops that I think are cute and more often than not I can actually find the ones that I want anyways so 
these these are great um go to Taobao if you're looking for like tops I recently just bought a whole bunch of glassons uh, dupes and when they came they were double lined they were beautiful they are currently in the wash so I can't show them to you but they are beautiful they're low back they are wonderful options I'll leave all the links in the description below on the topic of clothes we have exercise wear now I know what you're thinking like Taobao for exercise wear um, yeah actually surprisingly um, they have plenty of stores that sell like really nice exercise wear and I've used this for about I'd say a year so it actually is really good um, it still retains its shape really well the, th the items fit true to size the ones that I just showed you were a sports crop top really cute um, and this is the sports shorts I like to go for shorts that are like slightly longer. You can see a picture of me in it here. Um, I'm, I wear this super often like as a set. They didn't come as a set but I like to wear them together. Uh, they are very comfortable. I go for my spin classes. I go on walks in these. Um, and they also sell like really nice dupes of Lululemon sports bras. Um, without the logo of course. Sometimes you just really like the design. Um, and they happen to have it and the material is just really good it's very very sturdy like it doesn't i don't know like some sports bras just feel really flimsy and everything but these these are great um they've gone through the wash multiple times i've always wear these to exercise and the best part is they're all about five to seven dollars i managed to snack these leggings they are buttery smooth um i love them so much they also have like the um at the crotch line they're just sewed very nicely such that it doesn't ride up or like ride down there's just no issues with it it like sticks perfectly the material is amazing super good give um, every single one of the exercise pieces that I'm showing here is probably five plus dollars or below um, and I really love it they've lasted me an entire year and I use my exercise clothing on average like twice a week so great stuff um, surprisingly a really good place to get your exercise wear from Taobao. Next up, this is a little bit of a give and take. These are items that I think like you can get from Taobao but you are really kind of testing the waters. Don't always expect them to be great. I feel like with the other items that I just recommended, most of the time they tend to be good um, and it, they're quite like safe purchases to make on Taobao. But I would say for these two items you want to just keep an open mind sometimes they might not come in the best quality or the best condition but Taobao just has that variety so you know for that price just go for it first things first is shoes um, I would say Taobao has very cheap and affordable shoes I think if you luck out and you find a pair that is really well made and the quality feels great you got lucky on average, I would say the average pair of Taobao shoes that I buy is, it's alright, it's not amazing, the quality is not great, but you get what you pay for, which is under $10. Um, these were actually one of my better purchases, they're like pretty decently made. Um, these little Mary Janes in dark brown, these were like 5 to $6, but even then you can tell, like, they have a really strong smell. And for the last item, I would say bags. Now with bags, same thing, it's like it's a really it's a hit or miss situation here are just some bags that I bought on Taobao that I think would be great to showcase to everyone this is a like a mid-size moon bag so these straps like you can tell that the finish on them is still a bit raw I'm not the biggest fan of it but I also paid like four dollars for this bag it's this like wonderful dusty blue color the zips are in great condition um, it's lined with very cheap fabric uh, but I think it gets the job done if you're just looking for like a nice little cheap bag to wear when you're like out just to match with your outfits I think it's a great option um, Taobao has plenty of affordable bags for you to take a look at but of course if you're paying a really low price for them don't expect them to be too um, great I have had better bags so this bag is one of my better ones um, it's this like light pink, but even then in terms of like the finish and the material you can see the inside is not lined 
um, and it's just well it's all right like it works it's functional and it feels like it's not going to break so it feels relatively sturdy but the finish of everything just doesn't feel polished um, but at the same time I paid like five dollars for this bag those are the more generic bags that you can find on Taobao but Taobao is also like a really nice place to find dupe for bags that you might really like. So one of the bags that I really like was the Uniqlo bag, the one that you can get for like $15, $20 in Singapore. And I just really wanted a bag that size. I didn't need it to be from Uniqlo, so I got this from Taobao. Um, this is like my own personal keychain, you can ignore that. But yeah, so I got this bag from Taobao and the finish is obviously nothing compared to the Uniqlo one. But it comes with like the very similar... Um, it comes with a very similar... I guess set up like you have like a couple of pockets in the Uniqlo bag, you have a couple of pockets in this, um, it's great. This one's waterproof actually and the straps and everything feel like relatively sturdy, stable and it's just overall like a really nice bag. I think I paid like $3 for this so I really don't complain. It's a great bag to have especially when you're traveling or especially when you know you're just like on the go. And last but not least, this is one of my personal favourite buys of 2023 going into 2024. I got like a puffer bag on Taobao and yes, it's this like hideous orange. But I had this pair of Nike sneakers that were orange, pink and white. You can see a picture of me with this bag and the sneakers right here. Wonderful combination. But this is actually pretty decently made. The straps actually feel very good. The stitching was decent. The bag is lined, albeit not with anything too expensive, but the bag is lined. I just love how this is such a nice, I guess, rendition of the really famous puffer that Koss is selling. Um, and I love that Taobao has all these like colours and everything for you to pick from, so I think it's great. I think it's amazing. Um, and I think I paid like $8 for this. Um, you can find like very similar bags for either cheaper or just a little bit more expensive. I also have a whole like haul from Taobao coming in soon so I hope everyone's looking forward to that. So yeah, those are all the items that I would strongly recommend that you just search for on Taobao just because I think that they have the best prices for that category of item. And if you have any other questions about any other groups of items or categories that you might have about stuff on Taobao, feel free to ask me. With that, I end my very short things that you're going to need in 2024 from Taobao video. And if you like this video, leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, do your thing. And I'll see you in my next video in 2024.